And tonight, new video of punches being thrown during a violent confrontation between an LA City Councilman and an activist. LA City Councilman Kevin DeLeon released the new clip claiming he was assaulted and was defending himself when the scene unfolded Friday night. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is here live with this new video and reaction from council members, Tom. And Pat, uh, as you can imagine, a lot of people are exasperated by what unfolded just a few days ago. It's obviously gotten to a point of violence, and that's just not acceptable to anybody or Correct. most people, right? So yeah. one of the council members just sworn in said today that she is worried for her safety. As for Kevin DeLeon, he says this new clip is evidence he was attacked, but tonight an attorney for the activist in question says the video proves the opposite. It was a chaotic scene that went viral, embattled LA City Councilman Kevin DeLeon in a physical confrontation with activist Jason Reedy at a community event Friday night. In a new clip posted Monday night on DeLeon's Instagram account, the councilman shows what he claims is video of Reedy punching him. You can see a fist fly, but it's not clear from the video where it lands. Both Reedy and DeLeon have filed police reports claiming the other attacked first. On Saturday, multiple protesters interrupted newly sworn in LA Council member Tracy Park as she gave her inauguration speech. The activists appeared to be escorted out without any violence. Park was asked Monday whether she was concerned about her safety. Yes, actually. Thank you for asking. Um, unfortunately, what we have seen with some of the rhetoric and the behavior from a small minority of constituents in the population here in our city is, is alarming. And I have personally been subjected to some of those attacks and behavior. And I do worry about my safety as I worry about the safety of my colleagues. So I don't know what this is, but this is uh, intended to ignite fear and intimidate. And it's undemocratic and it's Un it's just irrational. Councilmember Monica Rodriguez says activists have targeted her at her home. Uh, it was uh, last year that I, on, and my, on my own home, was encircled in my driveway uh, by individuals that were protesting, trapping my husband and I in our vehicle, unable to leave. And so this goes beyond uh, activism. <laughs> Since the racist reporting of council members talking about redistricting was made public in October, tensions have exploded with activists disrupting and even shutting down council meetings. Last week, Councilman De Leon, who was part of that recording, tried to return to council, but was met by furious activists. De Leon ultimately left after Council President Paul Krikorian got in his ear. He's now the only council member from that recording still in office. We've seen the rhetoric at City Hall escalating. Uh, significantly over the last two years. Assistant uh, Professor of Politics Sarah Sedwani says activism and free speech are critical rights, but some of what we've seen recently is not democratic behavior, certainly not images like this of violent confrontations between activists and politicians. I'll just say in terms of Kevin DeLeon, right, um, you know, there is a process in place to remove him. If the people of his district want, who voted him into office want him out, there is absolutely a process to do that. Reedy's attorney says the video posted by DeLeon confirms what Reedy told police, that DeLeon both initiated and escalated this assault. The attorney claims the video shows Reedy fighting to free himself as DeLeon holds on to him after throwing him against a table. And Pat, it is tough to see exactly what's going on in the video. It's pretty chaotic, but certainly... It just all of it crosses the line. Just read where there were children crying, so. Yeah, too much. Yeah, that's not good. All right, thank you so much, Tom. Thanks, Pat.